dumb does that sound? He got me. That's when I wrote the book. In other words, I was affiliated with so much money back when I was in high school that the money that I was making, I messed up so many lives following me. And I owe my community. That's why I reach out. That's why I'm in the streets. That's why I'm bringing forth information. But this is not the kind of information you force on people because the drugs is something that a lot of them are used to and it's easy, fast money. And when you get that type of money, it's hard to break away and go look for a job that pay you seven or eight dollars mm -hmm. when you can make seven or eight hundred mm -hmm. in an hour. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm saying about that is that it's, it's time for the information to get to the streets because the word did say, I saw it in the book, it says, go home and tell your friends what I have done for you mm -hmm. and how I have had compassion on you. A lot of people are afraid. See, when I went to church, I went to church with drugs. I did drugs in church because I heard someone say, come as you are. He would accept you just as you are. What that meant to me is that I had to triumph for myself. So I came to church one day and in the midst of being amongst all those people who were looking good, had on the dress clothes and I had on a suit, but I didn't know him. Mm -hmm. I used to go in the bathroom every Sunday that I went and pull out my drugs. And one day mm -hmm. I heard someone say, just a little talk with Jesus mm -hmm. will make everything all right. So I went in the bathroom and I was tired of going to church and I thought I'd have a talk with him. And I said, God, I'm tired of coming in this church disrespecting you. Mm -hmm. But I heard a voice say you're in the right place. Mm -hmm. So I snorted my drugs and went back in there and sat down. The moral of the story, they say it may not come when you want him. Mm -hmm but he's always it's on time. time. I went to him in 1990. He knew I couldn't handle change too fast. So he allowed me to stay coming until 1992, January 31st. I've been delivered for 24 years.